I'm feeding it right now. What what Look, options dough? like what options do you have? Because um, I'm, I'm always I'm, I'm list always list. a big fan of uh, cookie dough. I'm gonna list right now. Three, Cheesecake, two, one, dark chocolate, go. fudge truffle, or Reese's Pieces peanut butter cup. Reese's Pieces sounds really good. <laughs> I, I Either that or cheesecake, opinion, maybe. But actually, I think I want the fudge truffle. I'm doing that. Hmm. All right, I can respect it. Yeah, we got a while ordering ice cream. We do have a match going on right now. <laughs> so this matchup is um, I actually remember beating oatmeal with my. Remember that run with uh, Steve, like day one of him in the box. I remember beating yeah. oatmeal in that run, Man Knight versus Steve. Well, that was also, again, day one Steve. So while you hadn't had a ton of time to uh, to learn the character, you're still DeBuzz, and he had to figure out how to fight DeBuzz in a completely unfamiliar, completely brand new matchup. Yeah. So I, I can't blame Oatmeal too much for losing there. I just bring that more so, like, I actually think this matchup's not bad for Steve at all because, like, you, you kind of just hit men and ways close to you, and like, he has to get close eventually, he doesn't have like projectiles or anything. So BC kind of plays into what Steve wants to fight anyway. Although with the fact that Steve's thin, like, hurt box, he's kind of the combo like, the ladders. And it, it overall is like one of those matchups that I really like as Steve when I was playing him. I don't know, speaking of ladders, uh, Oatmeal, been getting a few good ones. He got uh, up to about 40% off of the first ladder the very start of the game. Now he's just in the uh, the Meta Knight dilemma where he's trying almost in vain to get that first kill and he can't do it before uh manages to get that up smash for the first stock. Mm -hmm. He is in that dangerous, dangerous position as Meta Knight right now where none of his confirms are true. Nothing he's going to be able to do will confirm into a kill and he's just got a fish for some sort of maybe an uppy out of shield or maybe a tornado off the stage. That works too. That's going to be his first stock of the game, but now he's actually in a much better position with uh being at 0%. That opens a whole lot of combo routes up to Oatmeal. Yep. And, you know, with this said, Menace combo routes are a little bit precise. He has, like, a good hit. Like, hope uh has not the best DI. And right now, uh has a diamond, like, weapon set. He's about to get another diamond at this rate, probably. He's not just going to get a kill here. You know. And it's really scary for Oatmeal, because one minute's and he will die. Gets the... Uh, cape back towards him but it doesn't do too much Ooh, clank there and uh oatmeal wow uh and oatmeal both recover at about the same time oatmeal goes for the dash attack and gets hit by a spot dodge f smash instead that's going to be the stock secured and uh is still basically on a fresh second stock this isn't looking great for oatmeal mm -hmm. um yeah, yeah what is he gonna do like you know, he has a diamond on like hand, and then he's another diamond like ready to craft with. He also has gold. He has max, like very close max iron. Oatmeal's trying to get pressure right now. He's doing some good job there, but it's nothing. Um, nothing insane. Like, he's a bit more pressured on. Sure. Go that. So that is. Raw right, smash. I think wow. 78. I think one of the biggest things that I'm noticing here that makes this matchup extremely difficult for Steve, or sorry, extremely difficult for Meta Knight, in addition to what you mentioned earlier, device is that uh, Steve kind of can just destroy Meta Knight's uh, startup options with blocks. Meta Knight's biggest approach options are dash attack, side B, and neutral B. Oh my he's God, not dead. Almost, but not he's yeah, that's he's not quite thing. dead, but that's a lot of damage. Awesome, but like I was saying, like those approach options are just kind of fully invalidated by placing blocks in neutral. It's not going to matter, though. Oatmeal going to send him right into that top blast zone with the uppy. And despite being down almost an entire stock and being lapped in percents completely, he takes game one. Yeah, that was pretty insane, you know. And Oz just says up himself in a bad spot, right? Like, after he took 60%, he kind of got greedy and trying to, like, land above Mad Knight, which is not what we want to do, especially when you're bringing a double jumps and you're, like, kind of slow in the air. Like, he was probably getting forward smash because of the second stock, but... Like, that first smash is kind of easy to avoid if you're looking out for it. So, I think Oatmeal just realized, hey, you're panicking. I got out one now. Also, update, I just ordered my ice cream. I'll get it here in probably an hour, and I'm excited for some delicious ice cream. I'm going to be fat today. So, let's freaking go. Wow. <laughs> I, I just had to let you know. You know, I'm like, I'm very excited for this. Oh, my gosh. So, this is this COVID lifestyle. And that's that is the COVID lifestyle for sure. Considering how quickly they picked the state... Real start of the match. Nothing that might small battlefield. Um, 
And yeah, if you're... Oh, you have to remember, like, you have that game in the bag. Literally, if you just play your game and don't panic as much in bad spots, and don't let Oko get, like, super early kills, you will win. Getting started, trying to use that minecart to get in, almost avoiding the tornado, but that could have been a start for something from Oatmeal. Not quite, though. Oatmeal does need to get a ladder going soon before, uh... Oh, what? Uh-oh. They're trying to go for back air drag now, doesn't get it. And I think the main thing is, when Oatmeal gets in, he is constantly dash attacking at uh and not letting up any chance to mine or do anything. He... Especially with Olive in the corner, he can't really move around to avoid these attacks, and Oatmeal is just saying, you know what, I'm going to try and see what happens. I like the uh, <laughs> jump up superstar in the background. It's very unfitting for this matchup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So it's not just annoys me, like, you can't really turn off random music in online lobbies, because, like, even if you have a turn off, like, me as the host, if someone picking the stage has all music turned on, you still get their songs. I don't know, dude. As long as it's not environmental sounds, I think the song choices can be really funny. Oh my god. Bro, I, I have like a, a, what's called, a, a point reward for changing the arena music, and I have one person that just constantly makes it environmental noises. And every time I'm just like, why? You're ruining the stream. Whenever you do that. <laughs> that is a, a man after my own heart. I can definitely see that being something I would do. But as we're talking about environmental noises, Oatmeal has gone to a very early deficit in this game too. I know we did see him come back from a pretty big deficit to win game one, but if Uh manages to take this second stock before losing his first, this could be a nearly unwinnable situation for Oatmeal to find himself in. What oh, was that? Oh, he tried, that didn't work, but that was... It, that would have been spicy, but what was that? <laughs> yeah, he just, he definitely messed something up there and uh... That, this could cost. Never mind. Interesting. Okay, that's just happened. Oh, what that block movement though, bro. My man building a whole fort off stage right now. Jeez, that's a bridge. Yeah, I think I just fish his up tilt because like, he knows if Oakman makes even a little mistake, he will get up tilt and take way too much damage. Speaking of little mistakes. Oh. Speaking of little mistakes. 50. Speaking. <laughs> Speaking of up tilted and taking a lot of damage, yeah, 53% is a whole lot. That's an all up smash combo right there. That's just an all up smash sometimes. <laughs> I wish, man. Uh, maybe three pass days. But, uh, what was, the, oh, what was that ridiculous up, Brawl Olimar combo? I don't even remember the Pikmin setup for it, uh, but wasn't there one where you could take him from like 0 to 70? So, let me tell you this. His up finish was even better in Brawl than it was also, like, a lot better. <gasps> and right up there is a 22 damage. Yeah. So imagine you caught by up, down for up smash, red up there, you took like 50 plus damage, and you heal from the dark air. Also, let's go booty eater as well. Yeah, yeah, I have one person. So I imagine people from playing Mario Kart eat the Lux online, and that person's name is definitely booty eater. So whenever I see that, I'm just like, <laughs> like booty eaters on You never, you never go through and like clean out your friends list. I, I do. I don't really care. If someone makes their name booty eater, like, all right, you, you can do that. But despite the uh, pretty questionable, pretty bad start from Oatmeal, he almost brought that back. Uh, is still going to clutch it out and bring us into game three by taking it with that up smash. But that was looking like it could have been Oatmeal's game to win. You know, Oatmeal's suffering it back. I mean, he's being very aggressive. He had to make a comeback, and he just... You know, it's weird, because, like, you shouldn't be able to statistically make comebacks that often in the first place, and yet Oatmeal did it twice... Almost did it twice in a row. And now it's counterpick. If he gets a lead, Oatmeal's just going to win the game, I think, with a lead. Because he always turns up. Even when I played yeah, the he... tournament, he was turning up last stock every single game I played him in on Wednesday. Uh, I I think he ha uh, hasn't had the lead the entire time. Like, uh, Oatmeal has been playing from behind all of this set. So if he can get an early lead to start, imagine what he could do with that. I don't think if the lead gets into his hands, Oatmeal will let it go. Hey, that's exactly what I'm saying. So it's like, that's all he needs is just one lead, like one like stock lead, even like a 50% lead might be all he needs. Hmm, it's getting started here. <laughs> he just gets smacked in the face by Minecart. Minecart is such a good option. It's a command grab, it's a it's a kill move, it's a get out of jail free option. It's it's just such a good move. Mm -hmm. 
It literally does everything. It can follow your taxes. It can invest in a GameStop for you at the perfect time. I mean, Doki Coin. It's perfect. But with that said, uh, back to PS2. This is where they went game one, I think. This is where Oatmeal won, but he did have to bring it back really hard by punishing a few um, predictable options from a. Uh, but that said, uh, can we see that happen again? He is the left pressure on. He is not getting punished for some of these options. And oh, no. Oh, is out of iron. You do need iron ST. Yeah, no iron here. He's not going to be able to use the minecart. He actually gets one little bar, uh, one little ingot of iron and uses the minecart with it immediately. Yeah. Hasn't had the opportunity to craft yet, though, so that gold is just burning a hole in his pocket. Yeah, now he's out of iron. Like, his weapons are probably going to be Oh, and this could be potentially bad. A new PSR is old. Oh! <gasps> wow! Oh, okay! I've never seen that in old. I did not know that could spike like that. Yep. Man, it's a very rare character, and that's one of those, like, super grinding things that only very works if you have no double jump left. And your recovery is look particularly high. And, like, Steve's won't if he's, like, super low like that. He might have been able to use a neutral actually, and stand on that and recover that way, but you have to... You have to wear that. Oh, but the trade... Yeah, it looks oh, like uh, messed up messed up the air dodge cancel so that he could avoid taking the damage from that. But I still think that's a pretty good trade. Uh, you get get rid of the stock from your opponent while they're chilling on ledge. You know, you definitely need to make a trade. Like, you're down, you take those trades because Steve builds up damage fast, but he kind of still goes to land kills sometimes. He has powerful kill moves, but not, like, the best setups for them. So as you can see here, you know, with a diamond especially, Oatmeal has to be very scared because one mistake like that, and that was 20 something damage on two up airs. Yeah, definitely uh, a bad place to be in if you're uh, but also a bad place to be in if you're oatmeal. Like, they're both not in the best position to take this game, and they're both trying to claw their way out of the disadvantage, get the lead here. But, like we mentioned before this game started, this is the first time oatmeal's playing from ahead. That could not, it could last not much longer, but it's been really good for him while it lasted. Oh, he's going for the cheesy stuff, putting a block down using the minecart to push against the block. Doesn't work out, but dang, that could have worked. It could be very fun. And Oatmeal, Oatmeal was really looking for kill options. Like, he, he fishes so hard for kill options, I swear. He looks like he plays, like, when he does this, I feel like he's just an elite Smash player. But, like, he's a good one. <laughs> like, look at I, that, right? It works, but it's like, who's the Hey, that? yeah, like, sometimes playing like an elite Smash scrub works. It's... It's bewildering, that's what it is. And yeah, but like that, no oatmeal isn't quite close to dying. I know I say he is not at that back here. Especially with the side B coming out. Down here, the wall there can be very annoying, but nah. Oatmeal says, I'm out of here, bro. We can't chase this. And that could be a big punish, but Oatmeal is not ready for it. You know, he, with all this rage, he might be able to get something going for a lot of percent really early. He and, tries, oh, he's and, trying to get through this, but Meta Knight just doesn't have options to get through these blocks in neutral. It's very, very, very tough for him. Honestly, if you're Oatmeal, you can almost justify just kind of camping and playing patiently because, like, Oh has a diamond, right? Oh has, like, all the iron he wants. At this point, Oh has everything he wants to do wise, so, like, it's not like he can camp anything better. So, as weird as it sounds, playing super defensively and making Oh try to get a kill and try to look for your folks that way could be correct. Yeah, like, when you're ahead by a full stock, no longer ahead by a full stock, but when you're ahead by how much, however much oatmeal was, the onus of approach is not on you. You have the ability to just chill back and not play aggro at all. It is up to your opponent whether or not they want to approach and how they want to approach. With that said, you now, now you kind of you don't have to approach still, but you also are not going to win like this long-term game with Steve. Throwing up mine carts, getting more iron. Like, oh god, that's it, I think. That's a big punish potentially. Nope, barely can't get it. Move for dash tech, maybe, but dash grip. It's just on that spike. You kill that bad guy, and that's a kill. Fishing for the forward smash. And up. Uh, I'm like, that was an up uh, set. I actually. Oh no. I do, I had to. Come on, that that's the perfect chance for that joke. But I am gonna uh. say. Oh.